My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Well, all those potatoes, Carlo and Luca have been at it for the last day, and here they all are. Not a bad haul. Just had a phone call that there's some post arrived, so I'm going to go up to the road to get it, and I have a feeling it is a box that my dad has sent which includes some some addresses for Carlo's mum who's recently discovered Marks and Spencers and if it is I'm going to take them round to her house. I'm going to go into the forge and unpack the box that my dad has sent. I have absolutely no idea what is going to be in this box. My dad was sending me some bed sheets and they have come in another box. So this box is a whole surprise. I think there's probably going to be some jam in there. Um, but my dad does love packing up these boxes for me and filling them with all sorts of weird and wonderful things. The one that I unpacked yesterday also had hot cross buns in it. So we've had those for breakfast. But I'm going to go and open this box now, and I know there's the dresses for Carlo's mum in there. I have no idea what else there could be. Well, he's padded it out well with magazines, and then it's a bit of a mystery. I have no idea. I'm going to leave that to later and take this down to Carlo's mum down afterwards. I'm now going to drive around to Carla's parents' house, take them some jam and the new dresses, which I haven't even seen, so they look okay. I'll tell you one downside of living here, there are not enough public bins around, so if your dog does a poo, you end up carrying it around for kilometres and kilometres because there's nowhere to put it. So that is why if you ever do bump into me in Positano, I will probably be carrying a bag of poo. And the bins for the cemetery are right inside the gate. Perfect. I am going the back way through Zio Giovanni's vegetable gardens which look very lush and inviting. A uh, much better view than our vegetable garden. He's even growing corn. Doesn't work up at ours. Look at these. We haven't grown any this year. Look who normally puts these in the garden. The goods. And grapes as well. Zio Giovanni makes his own wine. It's famously not very good. <laughs> and the big squashes he grows have to be kept in cages, otherwise they're too heavy and they would fall off the vine. There's two up there. Right, let's go and give Nonna her dresses. I'm not going to film this because I think it makes me a bit uncomfortable. So I will fill you in afterwards on how the dress fittings went. So two of those dresses didn't fit and that's my fault because I got the wrong size. I should not have read the reviews. I should have just stuck to the size that I knew was right. So I'll have to send two of them back, but that's fine. We had a nice chat and now I've got to go home because I've got to make lunch. And Tomas is coming over today.
Ma sei una pazza. Aspetti, do una mano, dai. I took all the jam out and put it in my backpack. Ok. My back, my backpack. Ok. Ah. You can do the worst bit. Meglio adesso, no? Sì. Non è così pesante, per fortuna. Ciao, no, Anna. Right, let's get this box home and see what's in it. I say that I don't normally sweat, but I have done today. We have got a selection of homemade jam by Harry. This is in the box. Here's the usual big pile of magazines from the Sunday papers that he saves me. You have no idea how happy these make me. I sit and read them at breakfast time while I'm cooking and even though they're always a couple of months out of date they keep me up to date on what is happening in England so I'm very happy with those <laughs> eyelashes false so that's some work stuff that I ordered that obviously arrived at his house at some point so I don't need to open that a oat and linseed bread mix Ooh. <laughs> Queste sono, queste sono solo per me. Queste sono solo per me. Allora, queste sono solo per me. Oh, they're all squishy. They're all soft and squishy. Look. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go in the fridge. Okay, quelli te li mangi tu. Questi me li mangio io. <laughs> questi me li mangio io. Eh, aspetta, no, questi sono miei. Questi sono miei. Ma che diavolo è questa roba? No, questi sono i cranberries. Ah, okay. Cranberries for making muffins with. Okay. And dried mango snacks. Pecan nuts. And when I ask for something from my dad, he pulls through. I asked for a packet of dried cranberries. <laughs> I've got lots of dried cranberries now, so we'll be making lots of muffins and cakes with these. And these are the jams from my dad. We've got a strawberry jam, peach jam, black plum jam, lime marmalade, and wild blackberry jam. Yum, yum. I have made a little bit of a mishmash lunch today because there was a few leftovers and things that needed to be used. So we have a salad of potatoes, green beans, tomatoes and olives, a little bit of red onion, grilled halloumi, and there were some leftover lentil and chickpea dal that I made um, the night before last. So I've cooked up some rice and mixed it all up together. And that is yummy. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the beach and visit Elizabeth, sit with her for a while. Carlo has promised me that if I walk down, he will come and pick me up later so that I don't have to walk back up again. It's a little bit hot for that and I've already done the steps once today, so let's hope he holds his promise. I've just spent a couple of hours after lunch writing. I've written about 800 words, which isn't my daily goal, which is about a thousand, but that's fine. I don't have to force myself every day and I know I can fill in the gaps a bit later on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I decided that I was going to write a book last summer, a novel. So last summer I started, I hashed out the plot with Carlo sitting in the pool on Lilo's and once I knew what I wanted to write about, I just started. Um, I've never done any writing courses or anything and I've never written anything before really apart from when I used to blog and um, yeah I'm just going for it. I tend, I stopped for quite a long time over the winter because I wasn't sure in what direction I wanted to take it but once I figured that out I started again. Maybe it's a summer thing, maybe I just like writing in the summer with all the doors open when it's really hot. Anyhow it's going really well. I've written 80,000 words so far which is pretty much a standard book size so I've got a few more to go and then I need to figure out what to do with it because obviously I've never done this before and I have no idea what you do once you've written a book. I know that I don't want to sell it on Amazon because they, if you sell a book, for example, for one euro, 
I think Amazon take 70 cents and you get 30 cents and I'm not having that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'll figure something out. Everybody's here now. Sky's come down, Carla's come down, Holly's happy, and we're all going to have pizza on the beach. Una marinara senza niente per i bimbi. Una focaccia caprese, un'altra margherita. Let's go and get these pizzas. I always find it funny in here because Luigi is basically wearing my school uniform. Hello. <laughs> And we need a centerpiece for the table. There we go. Eccoci <laughs> qua. around the roundabout again because Carlo didn't realize that the main street has been pedestrianized for the last two years which shows how long it's been since he came here. This of course is the war memorial in Sorrento with all the names of the fallen soldiers inscribed on it. It is just outside the Hotel Continental and Bellevue and also has a beautiful view of the Bay of Naples. Let's go and have a look. Carlos just pointed out that they also have De Condra growing here and... Uh, we had to mow ours yesterday because it's getting very high. Why is theirs lower than ours? Why does ours keep growing? Who knows? are above the Sorrento bathing platforms. A little bit of beach they have got. All the little boats coming from Naples. It's Saturday today so they're all off on an Amalfi Coast or Sorrento Peninsula adventure. I just wanted to mention because I've had quite a lot of comments but everyone keeps asking about the mask situation here in Italy. It is obligatory to wear a mask when you are in an enclosed space. So if you're going into a shop or any public building, if you're going into a hotel, when you're entering a restaurant or entering a bar, if you're going into a bus, a train or any public transport or an elevator, you have to wear a mask. If you're out in the open, you don't have to wear a mask. Yeah. 
Te le mangi tutte e due, anche la mia? No, that's yours and that's mine. We might try a bit of each other's, but we decided we needed some cake. But we're trying to be healthy, so we've got cake with fruit in it, which makes it okay. <laughs> And then we came home and it was very hot so we threw ourselves in the pool and we had some lunch and I edited a video and then we got a phone call and guess what we've been invited to tonight? Pizza night! Again! Two nights in a row, like buses. Um, so yes, the neighbours have invited us for pizza again and we're going to pop along there probably quite soon. I have made a lemon meringue cake. Where's my watch? Um, so I put together a lemon meringue cake. It's not my recipe. It is a recipe from a book. <laughs> that was useful, wasn't it? <laughs> um, it's been quite windy this afternoon. So um, I'm letting my hair dry in the wind and we're just getting ready to go out for pizza. Just so you know that I'm not perfect in the kitchen. While I was making the lemon meringue pie, I also set fire to a tea towel and didn't notice. And I also burnt an egg dry. Carlo is watering all the plants, which has to happen pretty much every day at the moment. He has adjusted the flower bed, he's tied it all back and he's put some bamboo sticks in for these plants to climb up. I think I preferred them wild and free, but they're like that. And two more roses have come out, which smell beautiful. So the dechondra here was getting very, very high. It's come in so thick now. And yesterday he actually got out the vacuum cleaner, no, the vacuum cleaner, not the vacuum cleaner. The lawnmower. We've got a very small, <laughs> very small, very cheap lawnmower and he mowed it and it actually looks fine. It's done it good. It's sort of brought it all back down again. You can see here it's been cut but it hasn't damaged it at all. It's still very thick. So we're very pleased with that. This could be a disaster. I'm going to try and walk over to the neighbours with this um, without dropping it because it's, um, <coughs> if I put it on a tray it will slip off so I've got to carry it like this. And look who's just arrived with this amazing present from Julia who works at Blue Star who is also an illustrator and she has given me this beautiful picture of I think you'll recognize it as the delicatessen in Positano. Mm -hmm. She's really really good and I didn't know she did this and I've only recently found her Instagram which is Positano Illustrator. <laughs> no no you have to come for pizza if you want this. And um, thank you Julia it is beautiful I really really like it and that is going to go on the wall somewhere. Look what Julia's made. Julia from Blue Star. That's really good. Wait, I'm trying to figure out where that is. That's the stairs down. I don't know if you will have it. Yeah, that's a delicate test. Yeah. Yeah. First pizza of the evening. Prima pizza pronto! This yacht that is just pulling up. I wish I could zoom in more on my phone. It's like a submarine. Where is the car? Sky Star Cars.